Hello everyone. Welcome to HBN Infotech Tutorials. In this tutorial you will learn how to record journal entries in Tally. This Tally tutorial is for the beginners. Note, Tally version used in making this tutorial is educational and demo version. Now, let's have a look at the journal entries. Now, let's start by creating a company. Before we start to pass journal entries, we need to set some voucher configuration. From the gateway of Tally, go to Configure, then go to Voucher Entry Screen, then set No to Skip Date field, and use Single Entry Mode. Then set Yes to use CRNDR instead of To and By during entry. Now, let's make the first journal entry. On April 1st, Ganesh commenced business with cash for rupees 25,000. The entry is cash account DR to capital account. For this entry you need to create two ledger accounts. One is the cash account and the other is the capital account. There are two ways to create ledger accounts. Method 1, from the gateway of Tally, go to Accounts Info. Then go to Ledgers, then select Create, and press the Enter key. For instance, let's create Cash Account, under the group, Cash in Hand. <music> Method 2, from the Gateway of Tally, go to Accounting Vouchers, then navigate the cursor to the Ledger Selection area, then press Alt plus C, on your keyboard. Let's create the capital account under the group capital account. For this example, we would have to create near about 10 ledger accounts. Any ledger account you create in Tally needs to be created under the predefined accounting groups. So here we should know under which predefined accounting group you need to create these ledger accounts. Now let's have a quick look on the ledger accounts we need to create and also learn under which predefined accounting groups these ledgers are to be created. Now, let's do the journal entries, or, transactions. In Tally, there are different voucher types, to do transactions. So we should also learn, under which voucher type, these entries are to be passed. For this example, we will be using, receipt, payment, contract, purchase, sales and journal vouchers only. Use the receipt voucher, if the company, receive the money, in the form of cash. Use the payment voucher, if the company, makes a cash payment. Use the Contra voucher, if the company transfers its own cash to its bank account, or, if the company withdraws cash from its bank account, or, if the company transfers its money from one of its bank accounts, to its another bank account. Cash to bank, bank to cash and bank to bank transactions. Use a purchase voucher, to record the purchases, and, sales voucher to record the sales transactions. Journal Voucher can be used to record other transactions. For instance, we can use Journal Voucher to record purchase return and sales return transactions. Now let's pass the first journal entry. On April 1, 2018, Ganesh commenced business with cash for rupees 25,000. 
cash account dr to capital account being cash introduced by the proprietor before we do the transaction let us have a look at the cash and bank balance right now you can see that there is no cash or bank balance now let's proceed with the first transaction from the gateway of tally go to accounting vouchers click on the receipt voucher and then pass the entry Now let's check the cash and bank balance again. Now we can see rupees 25,000 as the cash balance. Now let's proceed with the second transaction. On April 2, 2018, paid into bank rupees 10,000. Bank account PR to cash account being cash paid into bank. From the gateway of tally go to accounting vouchers. Since this is a cash transfer to company's bank account, click on Counter Voucher. Then pass the entry as shown. Note, to create the ledger in the Accounting Vouchers screen, press Alt plus C keys on your keyboard. Now let's check the cash and bank balance again. You can see that rupees 10,000 is transferred to company's bank account. Now let's proceed with the next transaction. On May 1, 2018, purchase goods from Aran on credit for rupees 5,000. Purchase account DR to Aran's account. Being goods purchased from Aran on credit. From the gateway of Tally go to accounting vouchers, then click on purchase, then click on as voucher, since there are no inventory involved in this transaction. Create Aaron's account under sundry creditors and set yes or maintain balances bill by bill. Now let's check the cash and bank balance once again. We can see that there is no change in the cash and bank balance, as there was no cash or bank account involved in the transaction. Let's proceed with the next transaction. On May 2, 2018, sold goods to Karen on credit for rupees 8,000. Karen's account DR to sales account. Being goods sold to Karen on credit. From the gateway of Tally go to Accounting Vouchers, then click on Sales Voucher, then click on As Voucher, and then pass the entry as shown.
was this transaction also, there is no change in the cash and bank balance. Next transaction is, on June 1, 2018, returned goods were rupees 2000 to Aaron. Aaron's account DR to purchase returns account. Being goods returned to Aaron. From the gateway of Tally go to accounting vouchers. Then click on journal voucher and then pass the entry as shown. Next transaction. On June 2, 2018, Karen returned goods were rupees 1000. Sales returns account DR to Karen's account. Being goods returned to us by Karen. Both purchase return and sales return transactions have no effect on cash and bank balance, as there is no involvement of cash or bank balance. Next transaction. On July 1, 2018, received cash from Karen rupees 3000. Cash account DR to Karen's account. Being cash received from Karen. Now let's check the cash and bank balance. You can see that there is an increase in cash. Next transaction. On July 2, 2018, sold goods for cash rupees 1500. Cash account DR to sales account. Being goods sold for cash. Now again we can notice that there is an increase in cash. If you have done the transactions as said, you should see rupees 19,500 as the cash balance. And rupees 10,000 as the bank balance. Now let's see how to view various reports in tally. Now let's see how to display the daybook. With the daybook. You can view the transactions of a particular day, or, a period. You could also alter the transactions from the daybook. From the gateway of Tally go to display, then select daybook and press the enter key. Daybook usually shows the current date's transaction. To display the transactions of a particular period, click on period and type the from, and to dates.
and press the Enter key. Now let's see how to display a particular ledger account's details. For instance, let's see Karen's ledger details. Now let's see how to see sales and purchase reports. Now let's see how to view outstanding reports receivables and payables thanks for watching catch you with another interesting tutorial soon. If you have any questions, do let me know in the comments below.